Hi everybody, I'm Gene. I'm a graphic designer. I'm also an illustrator. I've been working in the industry for about 15 years and I've never seen a Ming vase. I don't know what that has to do with the other two things, but today we're going to be making a vase out of toilet paper rolls. So if you really don't have anything lying around that you can put flowers in and water, this tutorial is going to show you how to do it out of toilet paper rolls and still make it look like you didn't just stuff it in toilet paper rolls. So let's get started. This is going to be a lot of fun. All right, so you're going to need the following materials. Some duct tape, some toilet paper roll, and a sandwich bag. Now, there are a couple different ways you could go with the, uh, the vase uh, in terms of shape. You can actually cut into this toilet paper roll, and we'll just do that right now. You can cut into one toilet paper roll, and be careful when you're doing this. You don't want to cut your finger off. That would be bad. And you can actually spread it out a little bit, okay? If we cut along the, uh, the side here. There we go, there we go. You can actually spread it out quite a bit, and we'll cut along the other side as well. A couple different ways you can do this. Just be careful when you're doing this, kids. Um, so that If you decided to, you could take a second toilet paper roll and cut along the outside and just make it wider. See, so if, if we had two of these that were both cut along the outside, uh, we could tape one to the other and we can make it wider with a real narrow base. I'm not gonna do that right now. Uh, you can if you want. But essentially, the, what you wanna do is uh, put a bottom on this. So grab a piece of construction paper, like this one we have here, and Trace along the bottom of your toilet paper roll. You don't have to get real accurate with it because it's just for, for a guideline. We're going to duct tape it up anyway. And then outside of that, draw a little bit larger concentric circle. And then what you want to do is you want to cut that out and you want to duct tape it to the bottom of your toilet paper roll. So cut this out and then you'll have something similar to what we have here. Um, I've then taken duct tape and gone around the rest of the toilet paper roll just so we have a little bit of a waterproof outside and you're going to want to do the same. Make sure the bottom here is duct taped. Uh, but here's what we're going to do. We're going to take this sandwich Ziploc bag. Okay, you notice it doesn't have a zipper and we're going to have a lot of trouble opening it. Okay, there we go. And just go ahead and stuff that right down in here. Okay, you can use a pen to help you stuff it down. Stuff it down in there so it goes all the way to the bottom, but so that you have a little bit showing on the top. So I'm going to push this pen all the way in, get it in there, and then there's a little bit coming out the top. We'll push in even just a little more than that, and then duct tape around the outside. I'm even going to cut some of this off here, or maybe I'll just, there we go. There's a little bit excess there. So grab your duct tape, and you want to do one last loop around the outside. So here we go. One last loop around the outside. Just pull that nice and tight. But it's not really, it's not really that big an issue. As long as you have it around the outside, you should be good. There we go. And that's probably a little too much duct tape. So we're just going to tear this piece off, save it for later. Okay. There you go. And now, Push that down in. Now you can put sand in here, you can put water in there, you can put tuna fish in there or jello, and it's not going to come out of the bottom. But since this is a vase, you'll probably put some water in there, maybe a little bit of soil, and put some flowers sticking out the top, and you're done. So just make sure that when you're making these, that you follow all the steps and you use an empty toilet paper roll. Because if you get a bunch of water on a full toilet paper roll, when you pour the water in there and you put the flowers, it's gonna get all soggy and it's gonna be like, like that. Like it'll make that sound with the toilet paper. So you wanna make sure it's an empty toilet paper roll before you get started. But anyway, thanks for watching guys. I hope you had some fun. We'll see you next time.